Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on implicit differentiation. Implicit differentiation, it's not hard, it's just really tedious. Uh, one trick you have to remember is the function of y. Treat y as y as function of x. So y prime becomes, uh, when you take derivative of this one, you do have to, y p becomes dy dx. It gets clear once we start doing it. I always tell my students, put a dot or some sort of marking on the variable y, so when you take derivative, you can actually remember it. All right, so let's write it in term of exponents to make it a little easier for us to take a derivative. All right, I'm going to put my little dot back here. So first derivative is half xy to the minus half, and then I'm going to take xy derivative. I don't know what that is yet, but for the sake of a clarity, I put xy, the whole thing, take derivative. Okay, next one, next term, take derivative, which is the 4, plus, oh, not 2, 2 times 2, y. Now here's the trick, dy dx, because y is a function of x equal to 0. So every time you have a y taken derivative of this one, you do have to take y as a function into consideration. All right, let's continue on, xy to the minus half. Now, derivative of this one, we have to use chain rule here. Derivative of the first term is 1, leave the second one alone, plus leave the first one alone. Derivative of the second one is y prime. I'm going to write it just y prime, which is dy dx, really. Minus 4 plus 4y y prime equal to 0. Okay, if you can get to this step, I would say 90% of the work is done. So on the exam, if my students are, can actually get to this point, I give them a, a nine, out of, 9 out of 10 points. It might be a little generous than most teacher, but really, in my mind, this is the majority of the work. Do you really understand how implicit the differentiation comes along? It really comes to, to when you take a derivative of y, it's a y prime. That's all. All right, so from here, I'm going to gather all the y prime terms. I have one over here on the first one, so I have x times, um, let's write this one into the easier term for us to see. And also, I have a plus 4y here. Okay, let's move everything doesn't have y prime over. There's a 4, and then I have a minus, uh, let's see, y term, y over twice of radical xy, okay? Let's clean up one step. y prime is equal to 4 minus y divided by 2 radical xy divided by x over 2 radical xy plus 4y. That's a mess. But hey, on the test, if you're running out of time, leave it here. Technically, you've done nothing wrong, and at most, you probably lose half point for not simplifying it, okay? Now, if you do have time, let's keep on simplifying here. We're going to multiply it through, so the common denominator, I have 8 radical xy minus y divided by twice of xy divided by, let's see, what do we have? x plus 8y xy, and then divided by twice of radical xy. It's pretty messy here. But let's clean it up a little bit. 8xy minus y divided by 2 radical xy times reciprocal, which is flipped on the bottom. That's kind of convenient. xy cancels out. And we get as clean as we can get. y prime is equal to, I have 8 radical xy minus y divided by 8y radical xy plus x. All right, that's our final answer. That's how we handle implicit differentiation. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.